Hello, Wastelanders, and welcome back to the next episode of our Wasteland 3 Let's Play series. You join Game Hunter and I here at Ranger HQ, where we do need to take it back from the Patriarch Sympathizers. Hopefully, oh well, sadly, I guess, we are taking the fight to the Patriarch, and it kind of feels like we're at the end game. I do yes. believe um, we need to go over to the garage first, though. Man, there is a lot of blood here. Is that a mine? Yeah, yeah, that's a... No, that's an explosive. Don't run on top of it. <laughs> Let us not go that way. So which way do we do? Oh, that's uh, the way out, isn't it? So yeah, it is. Uh, it okay, nothing. wait, here's one right here. We can go... Oh, wait a minute, there's something here. We could go through the garage. Yeah. Alright, I'm here by the yeah. garage door. Yeah, I'm here as well. Okay, so it oh, looks like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go for it. And of course I have the wrong gun in. Okay. Well, it stinks that we are attacking these people, but... You know, they should have trusted in the rangers. That's all I can say. Alright, Muggins, who do you want to go for? Yeah, it looks good to me. There are quite a few of them here. And I still have 12 points. Uh, okay, let's try and get somebody off. down. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Not quite. And I still have 12 points. Okay. Go <laughs> There we go. Now I have five. I don't think we need a turret. There's quite a bit of people in here. So I'm gobble. just going to... Save my points. All right. Well, so. Yeah, let's go Cordite and attack him. Get rid of him. Just keep smacking. Come on. Oh, good gravy. There we go. All right. Let me, um... Uh, just going to stand right here. Okay, your turn. Yeah. Well, can I actually attack anyone? Oh, I can, but that's only 25. So, yeah. I wonder if some of these are like the Arapaho people or if they just bugged out. Yeah. Oh, I've got a bit of hell for him. Yeah. So. We need to be able to get to the computer. It looks like there's ammo containers here to loot too, so that's going to help us along the way. Right, Dave, your client's far away, mate. Let's go over. There's that one to your left there. By the pillar. Oh, good one. Have you got a mark? I ain't got any more than two, don't you? Yeah. You round the corner. Right, Miss Whitson. Thank you for rejoining us as well. Absolutely. <laughs> I figured she would, because she's seen some stuff. Oh, I love her. Her aim's not gotten any better, but she's seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's good that they're going for the other people, even though they're on our yeah. side. Better going after them than us. Except. Somebody's gun. Yep. Ah, moving the flank. We just gotta get through all their shooting too. Party bots like, yay! Look at me! Ooh, good that job. My guy over there, nah. Nah, it's one of the extra rangers. Come on, Foxy, you did so good with Liberty. Don't, there you go, little boy. Good one. He gets a lot of hits in, <laughs> I'll say that. 
Oh, cordite's down, that's why. Right. I thought it was wrong. Dang, they're just all moving in. They're like, heck yeah. Give it to us. Alright, you, who can I go for? You right there? Um, yeah, let's try it. Right in the head. And you. Seven, that leaves me seven, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take three points and head towards Cordite with her. All right, with you, who can I go for? Oh, I've gotta reload. That's okay, I still have, um, yeah, I can take a shot. That leaves me six. I'm gonna save them. All right. My, my turn. Hmm. Yeah, we've got to get to that computer. We still got that guy over there by Dave. Yes. And we got a guy here beside me. Waste. It's all good. Uh, Dave's turn, is it? Mm hmm. Come on, Dave. Let's go give this guy a good whacking. Oh, that is a good whack. <coughs> so he's got eight as well, so can he go back and give. Yes, he can. Come on in, Dave. See if we can finish this guy off. Ah, Love sweet. Yeah. Two for the price of one. So we just got two guys left. Those cinders are already injured, so first time to use a bed pack. Right, let's move you further up. Can you take a shot at me? Yes, you can. Nice, damaged his armor. And now go for precision strike to your head, son. Nice. He's gone back, okay. Yep. I'm going to move her around there so he gets a bit of a thing. Right, what left is this one guy? Oh, he's running away. Okay. Taking their six. Shoot him, dude. Fire. Shoot him. Actually, hit him. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, moving about, mate. When are you actually going to do some shoots? There we yeah, go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Right, still friendly, Tim, so that means Foxy will be moving. Probably. Yep. There he goes oh, with his no nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crit. Wow, there's a big one. Hey, come here, my friend. Yeah, we got a lot of them to move in. All right. See, so, first of all, let me get uh, Cordite up. There we go. I'm going to heal Cordite while I'm here with... Her. Yeah. There we go. Might and well then. Save them. Yeah, I'm just gonna save them. Yeah, I don't think I can get anywhere with her. All right, she is so not gonna be able to get anything. I'm gonna move up six, and then I'm okay. going. I nope, not what I wanted to do. I want to go like that, and precision strike on him. There we go. One fight down. Yippee. Yep. Alright, let's uh, get these ammo boxes and stuff. Get that one. There was another one I saw. Yeah, back here. A healing box. I need to heal Cordite. Oh, no, I don't. I already healed him. Um, did we loot the battlefield? I think we did. Yeah, I think I just did, yeah. Okay, let me talk to the computer. 
Computer flashes text. Cancel the alert. It returns to a standard informational display. All right, that's done. We ready to move on? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Do you want to go and check all the other places? Are you happy just going to the wall? Uh, oh, oh, good dear. gravy. Oh no. I'm I'm good with that. Um, we have a kitty. No, do we have? How many animals? No, we've got a fox. We got party bot. Whole house. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Robot Chicken. I f did he get, get murdered? I can't remember. Yeah, he did last long. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I like Robot Chicken, though. Oh, All right, yeah, so, that yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What was this computer? Do we need anything off of it? Cancel the alert. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's done. We could go in there. I don't. <laughs> nah, not this one. Oh, there is a crate. Armor. Oh, heck. That's some what? good armor. It's level 24. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, Spectrum Assault Armor. What are we wearing? Level 20. So that's 8 armor. So what's that? Oh, plus nine initiative and detection. Oh, a power gauntlet. Let me see if I can give that to Cordite. Yeah, some of my armor is still pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Cordite, can you use this um, power fist thing? Where did it even go? Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and keep on moving. So I think we have a fight in the next room we need to deal with. Unfortunately. If I remember, this was a pretty bad fight. Um, can we get anyone? You're all the way over there. Let me um, come over here a little. Alright, there we go. Can I get oh, yeah. you? There we go. We'll just start it in right. Alright, so you... I'm just gonna regular attack you. Yeah, you're dead. Can I get you? No. I have five. If I move over there, can I get you? I can, and there we go. All right, Muggins, what can you do? You can get him. There we go. I'm going to save her points for right now. And I'm going to have to get Cordite into the fray. Oh, oh. come on, Cordite. You can't be missing, dude. That's more like it. There we go. Let's just regular attack. I have oh, two left. Please. Yeah, let's get rid of him. There we go. And that's my turn done. Looks like we have two left. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got a guy in the next room, but he's next to a person. So he'll yeah. probably be moving in. Uh, uh, Alright, come on and do what can you do? You actually attack him, but yes, you can. Oh, good hit! Nice. Alright, yeah, Miss Lesson. Yeah, what's she gonna do? Did she actually hit anyone? That's out of that range of this one, so I'll put her in the middle between the two of them. <laughs> I am oh, actually great. glad she stuck with us, you know? Yeah. There I had a go, feeling. Man. The other guy, um, what was his name? Quan. I knew he was gonna yeah. turn. Oh. Yeah, he was a bit. He liked the Patriot. Yeah, unfortunately. That. Oh, dang. That bleed really helps. Taking their six. <laughs> Quit taking the six and shoot something, dude. And here goes all like the friendlies that. moving in. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, so I'll put the ashes back in the shell. Yeah, I know. At least we didn't have to fight Quan. <laughs> I'm glad about yeah. that. Oh, there goes Party Pal. What's he gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> Foxy. Foxy's just got rid of one. There we go. You gotta love the foxes. They're tough. <laughs> Every fox we've owned has been great. Alright, so I think I am way too far back to do anything. Yeah, just out of range. <laughs> if I move up to there and then I can do um, you do one shot I might be able to right on your head yep nice. and I think I have enough to do another yeah I do ah uh, but Muggins is so far back I don't know yeah. If she'll be able to do anything. Maybe. If he's not, yeah. Low chance to hit. Well, there we go. Ooh, that was a learning experience. Time. Good enough. I think we need one more room we have to clear out. Because we inside here. Yeah, we need the um there's another computer terminal we need. Yeah. There was three of them we needed. Oh, here we go. Bunch of bullets, though. That'll help. Yeah. Looks good. So, cautious movement backwards, I guess. Was there anybody in here we needed to fight? No. Man, they really destroyed the museum. What the heck? We just cleaned that place yeah. up. <laughs> uh, I think if I remember, I was in the... I think it's the prison, yeah. I just oh, kind of wanted to look back here. Oh, yeah. Work every room. Oh, the cat yawned at me. What the heck? You can't... We got, a, got a box with some money. Yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. I was kind of hoping we could find some more ammo. Just <laughs> laying around, but never mind. I guess we're going to have a... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's a trap there, but I just noticed these. Uh, ammo yeah. crate, yep, yeah, and a med crate. Is that everything in here? I think so, I'm not seeing anything. So the next stop, prison. So... Whoa, don't go that way. <laughs> Nearly walked into it again. I <laughs> uh, know, oh, is there another one on the stairs? No. No. No, no. Alright, so we've got this door. Are we... Good. Got private hawking. We okay? Haven't heard so much gunfire since we left the planes. We came through all right, thanks to some of the recruits. If they hadn't pitched in, I doubt we could have held out. Okay. What about her down there? I don't know, but here's the computer we need. Cancel yeah. the alert. Alright, so that's all done. How's our lady over here? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk to her. All's well here, at least. We've kept both sides out of the brig so far, and all our charges are secure. Okay. Dell and her people even lent a hand. We should consider finding a way to thank them when all this is over. You what can I do that. for you? Oh. Okay, so. Good luck out Because there. we put the guy, the person, or the hom homeless people back here. I yeah. guess it helped, but yay. All right, let's go up this way, so avoiding them. Yep, up to the war room. Hey, kitty, kitty. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a fight. It probably is. <laughs> it seems to be everywhere. I'm afraid to walk in. What about you? <laughs> oh so yeah. Oh yes. It oh, is. private Jim. Jamez, who are you? I don't know you. I was thinking it was going to be the other guy. Well, she's gone. Who all's in here? Oh, they're all in the back. I don't know any of these people. No. Okay. Well... I 
think I'm going to take her that way. And then we'll save that point. And then Muggins, can you? Actually, you can get that one. There we go. And then I'm going to take her over that way. And Cordite, you probably are not. You'd be able to do it with this one. Yeah, no. But I'm going to take him. Actually, maybe. That's going to take. I wonder. Hold on. Can I do this? On you? Yeah, I can. I can do a precision strike on this whole group back here. Oh, right. Okay, it hit two of them. It wasn't a spectacular, <laughs> but it was something. He actually faced the wrong way, but there you have it. <laughs> He's gonna take a pound and. No, I think we're gonna be able to do this. It was like nine steps, I think, to get back there for uh, Cordite. Yeah, I've got added quite a lot to do with the action, so. Hmm. Now Dave might get a shot in. We've got three, four, five, six, seven of them left. Well, I wonder where those two guys were that we had up here, you know, like keeping track of stuff. There we go. Yeah, we killed him. What do you think is going to happen when you turn red, lady? <laughs> <laughs> nice job. That's two more gone. Yeah, it is. All right, Miss Wesson. I don't think she'll be able to attack anybody in this round. So we'll yeah, leave we only over. got four left. They don't look very tough. I say as we die. Oh, no, our poor little robot. Well, the robots <laughs> are on our side. That's good. Glad we kept them little babies around. Oh. You ungrateful shits. Uh, excuse me? Oh, wait a minute. Sergeant Gretzky, that was... Was that the guy? Yeah, they were the guys who started his off one. I think, wasn't... He was the one that gave us our team. I figured he would, uh, turn on us. Get him, little <laughs> robot dude. Here comes the other guy. Come on, take a shot. Nice. Oh, Gomez is on our side. Good. Our radio control guy. Oh, that's good. Oh, here comes Foxy. Get him, little boy. Oh. oh. Nice, nice job. <laughs> All right. He's done a lot more than half of the people we've had. <laughs> yep, he does. Can I get your just out of my range? Can I get up? Ah, that's going to push me all the way around. What if I come over there and then fire at you? Officer friendly who's not so friendly. Not enough with that gun. Do I have you enough with that more. one? Yep, I do. Surprise! Oh, I still have four points. Four. Yeah. How did I get more, uh... Sergeant Gretzky. Eh, not very good. She's not going to be able to do anything. I don't no. think. If I... How many points does she have? She has 14. If I move... Two or three. Do you think she should get oh, wait. Four, there's an... That other guy back here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, wait a minute. Let me go up five. Can I get you? No. Not really. Okay. What I'm going to do with her is set up an ambush. All right, Cordite. Let's get in there and attack him. Yeah.
Did we get... I think we got bleed on him. That's a good thing. Yeah. And I have one. Let me get out of the way. Alright. Oh, I still have one. Well, then I'll defend. <laughs> Uh, and I actually attack hmm. out of range. Alright, so if I go see. Wow, that is absolute rubbish. Yeah, they get behind that cover and yeah, it, it's hard to hit them. That's out of range. Right. Then. These are all coming around. Right now, come on, Miss Best. Finish it Oh, nice one. Ah. <laughs> she got one, though. Still got a jump. Still got a jump. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Ambush for the win. Now we've got Gretzky. Yep. Why are you Looks like our friend's about to die. Up oh, here comes the oh geez, the robot's gonna get in our way. Uh that guy stands no chance. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that happened. <laughs> Good night. Hey, little robot. I know. Beep beep boop. <laughs> All right. We get some bullets off of them though. That's good. Got the bullets out of there. Um, this desk back here is locked. If you want to check it, at the back of the room. Yeah. Some more 129 dollars. Okay, well, this desk over here is locked too. Radio static. The gray one right there, yeah. Or container, whatever. Alright, so we've made our way back here. But what is it we've actually got to do? We need to access the, um, is it the terminal? Identify yourself as command and disable the security al or the alert. Yeah, system alert. Apparently, the rebels weren't able to remove your command privileges, so you disabled the lockdown. The lights and sirens stopped. The computer's main menu appears. Whoa, good work, Cowboys. There we go. Okay, now to get the truck sent downtown. Look for a button that says emergency evacuation tunnel or something like that. Is it that simple? Oh, yeah. Navigate to the vehicle <laughs> excavation tunnel menu and get to work. It's got to be that one in the garage. Yeah. You queue up command state in the vehicle tunnel and send your truck to the terminus point. Mark it square. But as you hit execute, a message flashes. Uh, warning. Command queue pause. Vehicle okay. cannot be delivered to market square. Elevator. Security override in effect. Access Terminal Museum 06 to terminate a bride. Oh, shit. Looks like the Patriarch anticipated us. Guess we're gonna have to get to that terminal and kill that override personally. Fortunately, I know where it is. Kinda. How would you know? They got it hidden away inside a secret room in the Patriarch's little museum. Our people ah. here will move the truck to this end of the tunnel, and once we cancel the alert, it should come right to us. So we've got to go to the museum in the town square. Mm, inside a secret room in the Patriarch's little museum. Is that his underground bunker? No, I, think, uh, I, I don't think... know if it's that. Or is it the museum in the town square? Oh, oh, that's right. There is a museum Which in there. I admit, isn't quite the same as rising up into the square in the truck and catching Buchanan with his pants down. At least we'll have the truck, right? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I forgot all about that museum. <laughs> okay, so... We gotta head into town. Out the front door? Out 
guessing there's no other way to go. So. Hopefully we don't have to fight anybody out here again. Oh, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did. We didn't fight these guys when we first, uh... <laughs> we skipped them. I forgot. Alright, I totally forgot we had skipped them. Alright, you, you're gonna go down real quick. I hope. Right on your head. Oh, this is the loco check. Really? She's against us. <laughs> it's sad. We saved her and now she's dead. Yeah. But we yeah. got her perks, so that's a good thing. Is that that woman that we saved by telling her that she was getting a, a track? Uh, she was the one in the freezer in um, Aspen. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the gratitude you get. Mm-hmm. Ross Dyker looks like he could do, she could do with something. Oh, she probably could. Let's go ahead and do that then. There we go. Still got uh, time. Yeah, gotcha. I won't be able to do anything. Um, I'm just going to move her. I can't move her anywhere. Actually, I, let me move her out of the way. Oh, I see you over there, dude. Let me save those. Alright, Cordite, uh, for you to get to him is no good. Wait a minute, who am I doing? Oh no, Cordite has no, it's your turn. Cordite had no points. Oh, right. I don't know how that happened, okay. I don't either. Out of ring. Is he here? I yeah. see him! Yeah, there he is, I see him. Yeah, I was, there's a guy over there. Is that Rook? Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, Private Kerr, Kerr is his name. Kerr, okay. Don't really remember him. Well, hopefully we're not, we don't have to fight that Woodrow guy from... Oh, dang, there's yeah, a, quite a few. I mean, shoot, we saved him from the nails in his feet. <laughs> he's out of range. I don't know if I hit that guy. He's out of range. Yeah, there's quite a few. They must have uh, respawned. These enemies when we um when we crashed. Unfortunately, it's okay. We can clear them now. All right, come on, Miss Weston. Oh. You. Okay. I'll tell you, I never saw us having to fight our own rangers. <laughs> <laughs> How can the old rangers stand by the page yet? <laughs> I know, this makes no sense why we would be fighting our own people. Ooh, Miss Weston. She sort of tanked that. I, you know what, I might throw out a turret next round because... We have got a turret already on our side. Huh? We've got one, but we've got a lot of people here. And not many people to help us. Oh, Frank Pappas is against us? Really? Good <laughs> night. This is really the uh, unpopular decision, huh? Oh, well. Here comes the fox. Is he gonna get a turn? Yep, he is. Get some little teeth bleeding on that dude, guy. There you go. Good boy. That's three wax. He got three good wax, man. Yeah, he did. Okay. Alright, well, you know what? I wonder. Probably won't do us any good. No, no. Mm -mm. It will not, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping I could do that. I could get you. I could get you. Yeah, let me go for you. That way you're not attacking us from behind. So you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> And now I have a special again, so let's use it on you. 
I don't want you shooting the fox. He's a good boy. He never does anything wrong. Uh, you? Is that? Yeah. Let's go for you. And I still have enough to shoot someone else. There we go. All right, Corda. Just take two for the price of one. Oh no, I thought you did. I felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who... Okay, you guys are all out of range. If I move up here, then can I attack? It's just like them two there. Yep, I can. And then you right there. Come on. Attack. Nice. Again. 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 Oh. There you go, he's almost dead. And then there, Frank Pappas is over on the side over there. Somebody's almost dead over there, so someone's putting in some work. Yeah. Patrick McHolt the Doll, whatever his name is. Alright, let's go over here and play about his music, shall we? Come on, dude. Walking son. There we go. That's all them. Now we just got these two over by the garage that we got to deal with. One's almost dead. And then there's Frank Pappas. Oh, yes. See them now. So I move there fine. Can you get one shot away? Yes, you can. There we go. Um, Where's nice. the other one? Uh, on the other side of the tree. The same tree you just okay. killed that guy at. Oh yeah, but Frank Pappas is yellow, so he's not a bad guy. Oh really? I see him as red. Oh right, well he's yellow on mine. I'm guessing I've got to attack him. No, it just says tortured, so I'll okay. leave that to you. I'll go into an ambulance phase. Okay. Because he won't let me attack him, so... <laughs> Yeah, he just killed. Went after Lucinda. Yeah. Yep, and got her. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why he's hostile, but uh, cause he was with the marshals. Uh, what can I do? I can't really. Oh, what's going on? He's a fox first. Oh, there we go. Oh, fox here. Good boy, get them bites in. Nibble his toes. I think the fox is done. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's that Angela. She didn't seem to do a lot. I see that Angela there. <laughs> yeah. It would be interesting to play this through a different way. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yes. side with the patriarch. And then play like, it through and kill all the kids. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we got all that. I think we just need to head into downtown after we get all healed up. Yes. Let's put in... Yeah. yeah let's do it that way. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, downtown, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Because we've got the marshals in this area, so this is going to be a fight. If we have to fight, yeah. Um. The Patriarch is a tyrant! This is our time to rise up! Tommy Carter. Okay. okay. Shame it's come to this, Rangers. But I won't stand what's by and let on? you destroy what's left of America. Can we just drive past him? No. We uh, we could if we had level ten, we'd be able to talk our way out of it. I think, but we can say after all we've done for each other, you can't look the other way, or you're right. We you won't stand. You'll die. Mm. Which do we want to go with? Uh, who is it you talking to? Sheriff Daisy. Right. So which is the best way to go about it? 
Um, which way, which way are you thinking to go? How about we try the after all you've done for we've done for each other? Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather I'll not kill her. Build this nation. If you think I'll let you put him aside just because we was friendly for a time, mm -mm. you're dumber than I gave you credit. No, no. I'm not killing you. Marshals, we're in fight. Fire. Yeah. That's okay. I had a feeling it was gonna go that way, but that's okay. They're gonna go first, though. We probably. I wanted to give her a chance. Oh my goodness, he's going for the people in the. Ow. And I am down. Me and my sniper are down. This is not good. We need to reload this, I think. Oh, yeah. We can't. I don't know that we're going to be able to do this. We can't, let the, we can't let them get the first fight. The first attack. Well, one's dead. I don't know. Well, for the herd demoralizing them, it's not working. Okay, hold on. You'll have to get your guys up. I will, but before I do, can I? No, I can't because of where I'm at. Um, let me get my people up. There we go. Get her up. All right, Cord. I oh, I cannot. Let me actually. Let me go. Three. Now, can I do this? Okay, she's gonna have to heal. Yeah. No, not that one. Heal yourself. And that's all she gets, and then she's gonna have to heal. That's all you get. That's all I get. No, nope, that was it. All right, your turn. There's one, two, four of them, five, five of them left. Yeah. Oh man, we should have just—I should have not taken the chance. Come on, Dave. Oh, so can you get him? There we go. Splatter his guts everywhere. <laughs> I hope these people in the crowd, at least they're on our side, even though Tommy Cotter has no reason to be because we arrested his mom. Yeah. I'm sure if Daisy's oh, about half dead. It's what, two left? Yeah, yeah it looks like two. two. And they're on fire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No what the hell is Daisy doing? I don't know. Oh, gr plasma grenade. Okay, that's fine. And there goes my character. Oh, no. Was that one of the people? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's go Sheriff Daisy. No, she's oh, still. That, that was yeah, that was the other one. Come on, refugee pistolier. Let's get in there. <laughs> Alright, I really want to shoot her right in the head anyway, so. <laughs> Let's do it again. Man, she does not want to go down, does she? She must have on the special armor. And you missed. <laughs> uh, I should have done the special attack. I kind of wanted to save it. Alright, where is yeah. she? How is she out of range? She's right there. Oh, well, good night. Yeah. 
Um, I think we can just beat her to death. Oh, One more. There she goes. Well, I didn't have to end like that, Miss Daisy. But, ooh, we got some guns there. Definitely got a few guns. Um, yeah. one of them looked like a sniper rifle, too. Oh, Daisy's rifle. It's an assault rifle. It does five oh, times the damage. Heck, yes. Let me bob that on my character. It does 51 to 62, but it does five times the damage. Right. Where mine is 24 to 29. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Wait a minute. No. Wrong one. Hold on. No. <laughs> It's mine's twenty eight to seventy six, but it only does three three times the damage. Yeah, it's definitely worth giving you one on that, isn't it? Yeah, let's equip that. I'm wondering. Hmm. It uses five point five five six ammo instead of those junk rounds. Also. Yeah. All right, let's give it harder penetration. Yeah, it might. Let's get our injuries repaired up real quick, cause I got some. <laughs> I think that's all we need, right? Everybody else is healed up. Oh no, Cordite needs some healing. All right, so now we need to head back to the museum. You guys are all good? Yeah. Uh, jeez. Do we need to go, is there? Yeah, we... I was just wondering if you want to check inside. Yeah, I wanted to see if, no, we can't go in. Oh, I was hoping right. maybe there were some ammo boxes or something that we could go through. Anything? Just over here real quick. Yes, there's... No, it's lock level 10. I can't do anything with that. Oh, I can. Oh, good, good. Shotgun shells. 5.56 yeah. ammo. Oh, well, that's good. That's what I gotta use now, so... Alright, good thing we looked. Is that what you use? 5.56? Five, five, uh, I don't think so, no. Okay. Alright, let's be cautious. Hmm. Yeah, the museum is just up here, isn't it? But we've got to be cautious because we might have to fight anybody. Yeah, who's in there? You know where that shot hey, was? It's my scouts! Damn. Oh, okay. You look like last week's lunch. Sorry, Colonel Death. We got clobbered. Angela's scouts. Oh, well, let's see if we can patch you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Not feeling so great. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Thanks. What happened to you? The Patriarch's tank had us pinned down in the market. Henry was blown to shit, and I took a piece of flying granite to the head. Ow. How'd you escape? A bunch of refugees came out of nowhere and drew the tank's fire. We made a run for it. So there's a tank in the market square? Oh, any, lovely. yeah, any useful intel for us? Well, if you're heading to Market Square, don't try the streets. There's barricades everywhere and no cover. Your best bet is to go through the museum. He well, said, okay. yeah. Oh, uh, we stashed some supplies in a crate outside the museum door. They should still be there. Just smash the crate open. Okay. Okay, well, we have to go. Well, at least Hold we on. Helped now that you fixed me up, I remembered something. We hid some supplies in a crate outside the museum. If it's still there, just smash it open. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's good. Oh, there's mines over there and traps. Yeah. So we won't go that way. I think. Yeah. No. It's a first aid box only. So, well, if we go. Shit. Oh no. That big tank's got us pinned down. Should we make a run for it? No way. If we move, we're toast. To your tricks, assholes. If we step out, you'll kill us. Oh. 
Manifest Destiny is his. Oh, oh man. Ah, oh, jeez. What an animal. Yeah, let's not go in the square. Alright, so I'm assuming this is the door. Now, which is the crate? Is this the crate here? I think it is. It has to be. Um, can I use cordite to, um... Smack it? Yeah. No, hold on. No, get off. No, it won't let me. <laughs> um... Right, let's see if I can, I can attack the crate. Okay. Now, what the... There you go. Yeah, that that got it. And then we get Oh, a submachine gun, some ammo, some saw blades, more ammo, dollars, and um an armor mod. Okay. So and we go into the museum. Uh oh, folks. Sounds like there's trouble in the old museum. Okay. Oh, scared me. That thing was the birds started talking. So we've got... <laughs> we just have corpses in here. I think we just need to move over... Yeah, is it this back room? It's... There's a no... I can't pit lock it. Uh, so um, we've got to find... The, um... There's got to, yeah, there. One of these has got to have the computer, right? Where was? Oh, wait a minute. If I stand on here, will that? If I stand here, can you check the back room? Uh, yeah, yeah we'll do. Let's see if that did anything. Wait a minute. I think there's a button here. Okay. That's done it. Yeah, you can come now. Okay. That got us into the back room. Nice. Yeah, we've got a... Computer there. Computer bit. I think we said we have to do something. The computer screen flashes red one emergency lockdown. Blast doors lock. The elevator function is disabled. To cancel lockdown, please enter admin ID and press cancel. Uh, we can use the nerd stuff to find a way around the password. Yeah, let's the try that. Stuff. Yes, I can see it. Yeah, let's go with the nerd yeah. stuff. Yeah. There we Last go. Blast alarm start the warning the computer, blah, 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 down, cancelled. Nice. Blast doors okay. unlocked. Nice. So, what is that hope? That's supposed to bring us our tank. Looks like the trouble's over, folks. Ah. Have yeah. a great day. Alright, now where do we go? Don't tell me it's out the front door. Yeah. I'm afraid. Can we, uh... No, we can't go back any further. Yeah, it's gonna have to be out the front door. That's the only way we can advance. Like the trouble's over, folks. Have a great day. Does that say he's brought our tank to us, though, has it? It didn't say anything. Oh, wait a minute. Why did it attack? I didn't want to attack. Just wanted to open the door. The door's, the door's unlocked. Up. Can... Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. Beyond it. Open it and you're face-to-face -face with him. Uh, let's leave that a minute because we don't want to just. Cause we're, have we, we've got to make sure we've got our tank. Uh, we don't have any other place to go, is the problem. There's nowhere else for no, us to go. No, so it's got to be that way then. That's mm -hmm. fair enough. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing else. Yep. Yeah. So here we go then. Let's face him then. Yep. Final battle's about to begin. This is gonna. Oh, there we go. Oh, he needed to blow the thing. There she is. Morning star in the making. There you are, you Reavers. What have you done? We had a deal. Oh, we did. It's not the Ranger way to help overlords and dictators, even if they call themselves by prettier names. We didn't know yeah. the kind of man you were when we made the deal. Now we do. Your deal was with our CEO. We've got our own ideas, and they don't include yeah. you. Um, it's, either one or, it's either one or two. Yeah, let's go with one. I kind of I like that. Yeah. What pretty name do you call yourselves? Rebels? Freedom fighters? It doesn't hire that you're the ones tearing the world apart while I'm trying to hold it together. 
together for 50 years. I've been the one man to keep civilization alive in the West. No one else has achieved that. Not even your vaunted desert rangers. And now, you want to destroy it all? All that's left of old America? For what? <laughs> for justice, your civilization is built on the backs of the people you've wronged. We will not let that stand. The only thing we're here to destroy is your way of doing things. Colorado's, Coloradians need a say in the running of Colorado. Your ego's so big you think if you die, the world will die with you. The truth is it'll be better off without you. For all we can grab, uh. Saul, for all we can grab. Let's face it, you were never going to give us what you promised, not after we killed your kids. This was our only option. No, that sounds a bit... They're really nasty. Yeah. Uh, the only thing we're here to destroy is your way of doing it now. For justice, you're so... Justice, yeah, yeah, your civilization is built on the backs of people. civilization in the history of the world has thrived without injustice. I did what was best for the greatest number of people. Even if it meant some had to suffer, that's just the way the world works. <laughs> I almost want to hand over the reins of Colorado to just to watch you try to make your perfect society. You'll be stuffing the prisons full of dissidents before a year is out. But no, I don't toy with my society or with the lives of my people. I protect them from lunatics like you. That's why you have to die, Rangers. That's why this has to end here. Marshal! Okay. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this is a not a good situation, guys. We've mm. got six, six men at the tank. The tank is what I'm the most worried about, honestly. I'm going to yeah. go over here. And then let me get rid of you. Cause he, oh, wait a minute. How come I don't have... It said I have a special. Oh, right. But when I go to use the special, it's <laughs> not there. Um... Interesting. Double one of the faithful glitches again. <laughs> okay. Let's hold those. Alright. Um, you've got a special, but you are going to be way too far out of range. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, honestly, I'm going to throw out a turret. To help us out if I can. No, it's too I'm too far away to make it worth our while. Let me move over with her. Now can I throw out that turret? Yes. Let's put it right there. Just outside the line. There we go. Alright. Actually let me move you back there. And then defend cordite. Oh, good lord, cordite. Uh, what am I gonna do with you? There. Okay. I'm gonna move you over. Actually, I'm gonna move you over here. And then I'm gonna hold his points and give you the turn. Oh, wait. You got your lot, you got your thing now. What are we going for the tank? Yeah, oh yeah. And then I can't set up an ambush. Save this point then. We're probably gonna lose our tank. I'm just gonna keep throwing out turrets to help us as I can. I can only have one at out at a time, so But yeah. as it goes down another one's going out. We're in a bad position, starting position. Yes, can't do anything in this round, but at least I'm close to the end. Mm-hmm. Right, Dave. I don't think you're going to be able to do it in this round, I think. Yeah, that's why I took Cordite up a little bit, but then let him... Yeah. I'm hoping some of these might come to us, but I'm afraid of their weapons. They're, they're going to have the best weapons. Yes, that's 
Yeah, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll move this western up this way with you, your guy, so he's got a bit of protection. I could shoot a tank, but it's not worth it, is it? Um, I don't know. Any damage we can get on it's good. Oh, that works too. I'm going to a defensive. Okay. Oh, we gotta watch those blow up tanks on our side too. Go for the turret. Go for the turret. Shoot the turret. Yep. Yeah, I know, Morningstar. Just suck it up, baby. It's what happens when you run with the Rangers. <laughs> we're bad. We're bad animal parents. Oh, it was listened okay? okay. Yeah. Oh dang! Oh dang! Go on our turret. Okay, that's fine. Rather the <laughs> turret. I'd rather the turret than us. He's going after Morningstar. Oh, Morningstar is pissed because he scratched the paint. Is that our fox? Yeah. I know party pal. What's party pal gonna do? Heal somebody, party pal. He spun around and didn't. Oh no! There he goes. There he goes. Oh no! What's he gonna do? Oh no! We're gonna lose party pal. <laughs> and we kept him alive for so long. <laughs> oh no! Ah, Mr. Death, Mrs. Death, are you actually going to do some action for us? Apparently. Oh. All right. Well, she's still on our side. <laughs> too. Um, actually, oh, you're just out of range. Everybody's like. Out of range for me. Let me see if I can attack you. Oh yeah, yeah, I can. What about you? Okay, yeah, this is a good gun. Oh, this is um, Sheriff Daisies. Right. And you should be gone. Yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. And I still have five points. Let me move up three, so Did I can you get. Attack no, not this turn. Not this turn. Yeah. But I got rid of three of them. But with her, I can attack the tank with a precision strike. Yes. Actually, I should have gone for the. Um... Oh. Was that the tank? The tag's gone night night. <laughs> oh, on one shot? <laughs> the tag's gone. We've already got these two, three guys this side. <laughs> wow. What a clear out that was. I was expecting more of a fight, to be honest, from the tank. <sighs> well, we'll take it. Alright, Cordite, get up there and punch him in the face. Actually, do that to him in the face. Oh, not the, the thing. Not the thing. Yeah. that's You're dangerously close to the uh, explodey <laughs> tank there. Yeah, you might want to move him there at the end. So yeah, not... let's go. Ah, uh, sugar. Let's go over here. I know it's closer, but it's not by an exploded tank, and I can defend with him. Um, oh, no. Still got your tank. No, let's uh, over there. That's too good. <laughs> okay, well there we go. We'll still just got hold on to that. Oh no, I don't. I think he needs seven to shoot. All oh, right, right. Yeah. Right, let's move this guy further across him. Even though he might not really need him because we've already got that one guy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how easy this has been. I know, this is weird. we are probably got to go to the Patriarch's right wing, though. Yeah, to face he's the not Patriarch. Dead. That's just yeah. Tank, That's not him, so. Uh uh. Can you give him one what? No, you can. Still out of rage. He's right next to you. Yeah, it's weird how it does that sometimes. Yeah. Our fox is on fire. 
Get him, Lucy. Get him. One more. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Gotta hand it to you. Oh. You're a bunch of tough sons of bitches. Too bad you're not smart enough to see that you're dooming Colorado. Who's gonna hold things together when I'm gone? You? Your red-headed friend? <laughs> not one of you. It's hard enough to do what needs to be done. The problem is, is this man is dying. He yeah. He's not gonna live forever, and, and that... Uh, why can't he see that? He has no one to pass it on to. Because his not kids are clearly thing. not worth it. A hard leader thinks hard is the only way to do things. A smart leader finds other ways. Exactly. If only you were smart instead of just a smart ass. You haven't saved my people. You've killed them. The ends can't justify the means, Buchanan. You can't build a just society by doing unjust things. It's a new world patriarch. It's time to try new things. You don't care about your people. All you care about is holding on to power. Mm. I kind of like the first one and the last one. Yeah. But I think the first one, you you can't build a society, yeah. a just society by doing unjust things. Yeah. And you can't build any society by only doing just things. Well, you're making sure nobody's oppressed, the warlords of the plains are gonna ram a hot poker up your ass. Anyway, good goddamn luck. Whatever you do, you'll need it. Now, what are you gonna do with me? People outside are calling your name. Who are we to deny them? <laughs> Uh, I think you got to do it the just way, haven't you, and just arrest him? Or do you, want to, do you feel like you want to actually kill him? I'd like to kill him, but I think we'll just arrest him. I'd Actually, I'd like to hand him to the people. Uh, yeah. A show trial. First step on the road to tyranny. All right, then. I'm ready. Always did love us. We should have killed him. Well, that's that. So what's the plan now, cowboys? You're gonna stay here and help me keep this place peaceful? Ooh, good question. We want to invite General Woodson and the Arizona Rangers to move here. We can use all the help we can get. We've come to feel that Colorado is our home. We'll send supplies back to Arizona, but we're staying here. We're gonna grab all the supplies we can from the Patriarch store and head back to Arizona. We're gonna keep heading east and see what things look like beyond Colorado. Uh, I think I'd say we'll feel come to feel that Colorado is our home. We'll send the supplies and then we'll back stay to, here. Yeah. Well, all right. It'll be great having your help. But fair warning if you don't escort those supplies back to Arizona personally, there's no telling how much you'll actually make it there. If all they get is a half or a quarter of what they were promised. You might be dooming the old place to a slow death instead of a quick one. Is that something you can live with? Uh, oh, I suppose good. No, we better go back then, aren't we? Yeah, no. We we better grab the supplies and head home. Alrighty then. Colorado will miss you. And it'll be a harder job taming it without you. But I understand. Can't leave Arizona in the lurch. Best of yeah, luck we, did, we, we probably should have something. told him to come here. We probably should have brought people from Arizona here. You head to the palace radio room to call, to place a call to General Woodson, letting him know you're coming home. And there we go. New Colorado order is the trophy that we've earned. Yes. So what happens now? Oh, got rookie. They do. Ain't no in Arizona what we did in Colorado. If we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed, hard times in Arizona with the rangers and the settlers giving ground. 
Feed the raiders and militia And it seems we'd lose the good life that we found Then you can and made us awful by my kids And I will help you save your land So we rode for Colorado Praying that he'd be an honest man In Denver we found valor A son who didn't live up to his name He turned against his father Siding with the old man's rival seeking fame Though these rivals tried to stop us We captured valor like we said we would Brought him home to daddy We made it pretty clear Just where he stood Then we made our way to Aspen To find Buchanan's misbegotten son The sick old name of victory We pulled the legs off you was just a fun The urge to make him pay for what he'd done But we brought him back alive Locked him up to the relief of everyone On the track halfway to Kansas We found Buchanan's daughter making Conquer Colorado with the help of desperado gangs and clans. Oh, daddy wanted her alive. We couldn't kill the hive and not the queen. So she died with guns a blazing like the hero on a Sunday silver <laughs> screen. In the end, it became clear that Buchanan was no better than his kid. If we let him stay in power, Colorado would be heading for the skin. His fine orders from back home, tried him for his crimes and took his throne. Then we looted Colorado, rode back to our Arizona home. Arizona, what we did in Colorado on the trail. If we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed. But when the winter turns to spring, the news newcomers bring, they'll know that the rangers are returning and they're bringing all they promised from the snow. Under your supervision, the citizens of Colorado Springs organized a trial for the patriarch. Following the traditions of old America, you chose the jury at random from among the population. On the day of the trial, the whole city came to take to the palace to watch. You selected a member of your team to preside as judge, sitting atop the patriarch's throne. To everyone's surprise, the jury convicted the patriarch of crimes against his people. But they sentenced him to prison, not death, granting mercy in light of his genuine devotion to the city. Okay. To most, it felt like a good old American justice, a clear contrast to the brutal retribution of the wasteland. You took custody of the patriarch and confined him in Peterson Air Base. 
the very stronghold he gave to you not so long ago. He wouldn't stay there for long. In the chaos after the Patriarch's fall, your team gathered as many guns, bullets, and supplies as you could. Piling them into a convoy of borrowed vehicles, you headed west across the mountains, leaving Colorado behind. When you arrive in Arizona, General Woodson was surprised to see you, and unhappy to hear that you didn't seal an alliance with the Patriarch. Still, the arms and supplies were a welcome relief, and they'd keep the rangers going until they could figure out another plan. Angela Death remained in Colorado Springs to serve as a peacekeeper. After the fall of the Patriarch, the refugee population rose to dominate Colorado Springs. They wanted revenge on the hundred families, which Angie wouldn't allow. Soon, Angie and her remaining rangers faced an insurgency in the city and a rising tide of revenge killings. She did what she could to hold things together, but without your help, she continued to lose ground. Oh, dear. The rest of the Patriarch's nation collapsed, and his alliance of cities and cults scattered to the winds. Isolated and alone, they'd be easier prey for the savage gangs of the plains or predators closer to home. In Denver, oil drilling came to an end because you destroyed the Gippers. The cities and towns of Colorado were left without a reliable source of fuel. <laughs> Your actions as a mute machine commune convinced the robots to take a chance on humanity by walking human settlers into the airport. Denver is now a safe haven for those with nowhere else to go. Run with inhuman kindness. The Reagan AI remains in the MI Tower, sad and alone, forever calling for his beloved Nancy to take him home. Led by the gift, the breathers withdrew into the Rocky Mountains. They kept their distance from the people of Colorado, moving higher and higher into the mountains as generations passed. In time, the breathers became a legend to the people of Colorado. Some said they were evolving into a new form of humanity. Others didn't believe that they ever existed at all. All right, so they just disappeared. As Colorado Springs died, the city of Aspen was forgotten. The old resort town went dark forever, covered by snow and never reclaimed. Flab and his monster army maintained control of the bazaar, an unexpected island of stability in a region made by you and your team. Flab took a great satisfaction in the knowledge that he had outlasted the Patriarch. Once again, he had weathered a terrible storm when even the most powerful man in Colorado had not. Furious with how Team November dealt with the Patriarch, Jody returned to Arizona, glad to see the last of Colorado's snow and ice. And despite the shipment of supplies being far less than what was originally promised, thanks to Jody's help, her folks made it through the tough year that followed though they never again prospered as they had before. Freed from the brig by Team November after the queue of the Patriarch was complete, Quan left Colorado Springs in disgust. Eventually, he became a security consultant for the Iron Thunder Arapaho and never had anything to do with the Rangers again. With things with the Patriarch finally settled, Lucia decided to remain a Ranger continuing to patrol and keep the peace, and to serve as their liaison to the Hunter families. After years of loyal service, the Rangers retired Morningstar and allowed him to drive his Kodiak shell on his long dreamed of journey to rediscover America. No one knows where he went or how far he got, but there probably aren't any communists there anymore. <laughs> After staying to witness firsthand the fall of the Patriarch, Ironclad Cordite did as he promised to do and took the gangs east, where he at last began his bloody campaign to rule all of Kansas. 
Returning back home to Arizona, Pazepi helped the Rangers distribute the meager supplies from Colorado and continued to rise in the ranks of the organiza organization in the hard years that followed. After things resolved, the Rangers noticed Scotch Mo was no longer with them. They searched every bar in Colorado Springs but never found him. Some say he's been drinking in saloons in Kansas and points east, but these rumors are unconfirmed. Oh, that's a shame. He's just good. With that, the story of Team November comes to an end. For good or ill, you changed Colorado forever, and its people will live with the consequences. But the story of the Rangers goes on. And that's it. Yes. Wow. Well, there were some definite things we should have done different. We should have had them come to us, I think. I yeah. think we should have invited um, them to come to Arizona. I think that would have... Maybe we shouldn't have gotten rid of the Gippers either. Yeah, but if we gotten hadn't gotten rid of the Gippers, we would have lost the robot commune. Oh, yeah. And that's just insane because they could have sent some of those people over there to take over the oil fields. Yeah. There was no reason for that to have been lost. But with that, guys, that is the end of our Wasteland 3 Let's Play series. A very creative and, um, I don't know, I really love the ending. I, I yeah, love the, I did, yeah. this, the I ending the slide song. screen. Yes, yeah. Yes. It was great. Oh, Game Hunter, it has been a pleasure playing through Wasteland yes. 3 with you. Definitely need to find yeah. another game to work on. But for now, yeah, guys. Yeah. That is going to be it from Game Hunter and I. Thank you all so very much for joining us for this series. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope we see you in the next one.